this week we're trawling the tough London housing market with some outspoken first-time buyers. Done much better than yesterday. Oi, that's harsh. <laughs> They're ambitious. I want it all. <laughs> and demanding. If you did bunk beds, you could afford yeah, it. Yeah, we're not keen on bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll need to be willing to try anything to please. I've done a lot worse in pursuit of the right properties. We're house hunting in London. I'm in the leafy northwest with a couple of high flying newlyweds who want to nestle down in their first home. And I'm in East London with a pair of Devon born brothers who want to set up home in the big smoke. As we search in the capital, prices are on a high. In fact, the average property price in London comes in close to the half million pound mark. Compared to the national UK average, which is less than half that at just shy of 218 grand. It's no surprise that our first-time buyers desperately need our help. Originally from rural South Devon, brothers Harry and Nicol are both hungry to get onto the London property ladder. So they're making the increasingly common choice for first-time buyers of pooling finances and buying with family or friends. I just hope there's no sibling rivalry. I think we were like normal kids, like we, you know, we'd get on well and then we'd fight maybe, you know, like living with any sibling. Like Harry would just never wash up, so that's, that's definitely going to I don't be a, an issue when we live together, I guess, but... I don't think that's necessarily true. We'll see. <laughs> Older brother Nicol is a dancer whose dream of joining the Royal Ballet in London finally came true four years ago. How many times did you audition for them? Uh, well, twice, I guess. The school as well, so three times. So they took me a while. Three times, basically. No, twice. Twice, yeah. I kept pushing. While Nicol lives and breathes classical ballet, younger sibling Harry's heart belongs to the contemporary world. He followed his big bro to the big smoke to work for a technology startup with his beloved decks in hand. One of my passions is music, so for a bit of fun, mix vinyl at home sometimes, so I need some space for sound system and turntables. Also helpful for house parties. We might have a few, yeah. Let's hope we can get that far, Harry. With Nickel currently sofa surfing and Harry renting, the brothers see buying together as their best chance of getting their own foothold in the capital. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to buy a flat if we didn't live together, so, and the, the opportunity just made sense, I think. If we didn't do this, then we wouldn't be able to buy a flat for many years, so, um, yeah, it just made sense. The boys earmarked trendy Walthamstow village and Leighton as perfect patches to settle. It's all about location, 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 really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. Having recently been injured, Nicol has been able to spend time helping Harry with the house hunting. But that is all about to change. When Nickel goes back to work, that's going to be him busy 12 hours a day for six days a week, so... Yeah, I'm back on stage in two months, so we need to find a flat definitely before then, so the pressure's on. So using their expertise to hopefully buy us, find us a, a perfect house. They're not going to buy it for us. <laughs> Can they nice. do that? <laughs> Will they? They'd be nice, give us some money. <laughs> not quite the way it works, I'm afraid especially when you're looking in some of the most popular parts of East London. So, we're in London. We're in London. Have you got the money for it? Straight out question. <laughs> we have got the money. It's great, depends Good. together. Yeah. So, our budget is? 465,000. What brings you here? To Walthamstow Village? Yes. Well, we both grew up in a little village population of, like, 1,500 people in the countryside in Devon. Then we've both kind of made our own routes to London and the big hectic city life which we love, but mm -hmm. I think we'd, be, we'd both quite enjoy being able to escape that a little bit and come somewhere quiet that's quaint and pretty. So you're looking to create a little patch of Devon in kind of. North East London? <laughs> yeah, in a way. If we could afford it, we would be buying in Hackney, I guess. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's that. You could, question. if you did bunk beds, you could afford yeah, it. Yeah, not, we're not keen on bunk beds. <laughs> So, this brings us to the final question. Why haven't you already found a flat? 
this very aggressive market. I mean, we've, we've actually just lost out on a few properties that we put an offer in. How? We've been outbid. Like now them. we've got you. Now you've got me. Phew. Perfect. Well, we better get out there. Drink Let's up. Do it. The boys have saved a healthy deposit and together with a mortgage can afford £465,000. They're after a flat with two bedrooms, ideally with character and it must have enough space for entertaining and the odd party or two. Location is also key. Having been priced out of areas like Hackney and Hoxton, the boys have set their sights around Walthamstow Village and Leighton. Properties here can move both fast and above asking price, so it's a good job I'm both speedy and shrewd. While Kirsty tackles trendy East London, I'll be taking on the even more expensive North West London. Although only about 10 miles away, the average property price here is about 300 grand more. With some of the most sought after residential addresses in the capital, North West London has an eclectic and vibrant scene. It's easy to see why newlyweds, marketing manager Hiran and his accountant wife Priyanka have picked it as the perfect place to purchase their first home. And clearly, this pair of 31 year olds don't mess around when they find something they like, as they met and married within 18 months. We met, we met um, on Tinder, so um, Hiran messaged me a couple of times actually and I uh, chose to ignore it for, for a little while, but he's persistent and eventually I caved. I'm a very determined guy. Getting married may have been quick and easy, but finding the marital home has proved much tougher and these lovebirds are still stuck sharing with flatmates. Um, so right now we're living in a rented shared accommodation and end up spending a lot of our time in our room, which isn't ideal. Yeah, I think over the eight months that we've been looking, we've probably been outbid on three or four properties. It's heartbreaking not being able to have your own space and being in a position where you think, oh, we finally found a property, but it all falls through. It does sort of, you know, leave you really, really disappointed. Well, the days of disappointment will hopefully be a thing of the past with Pip's help. The future and having children is definitely plays an important part. So the ideal property would be a good size, bright and airy, and be close to a station. I do tend to wear heels a lot, and walking to the station takes me a lot longer than it does here. And Hiran has sort of a nickname for it. It's Priyanka yeah. time and normal time. Yeah, I think, you know, a five-minute <laughs> walk to the station is seven Priyanka minutes. Yeah. So you've just got to kind of factor that in when, you're, <laughs> when we're looking for a property. <laughs> I am quite slow, unfortunately. Yeah. I'll happily lend you some shoes to time those walks, Phil. You'd look great in heels. So congratulations. Thank Newly you. married, that's exciting but haven't sorted out the living yeah. accommodation yet. About nine months now we've been looking, and yeah. um, still not any joy, so, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Let's talk about what, what, what you're after and where you'd like to find it. Um, I think the ideal property would be ideally in West Hampstead. Yeah. Um, it's close to my parents. I think with what I do, it would make a lot of difference in terms of my commute. Mm -hmm. Two bedrooms or yeah. one bed with the option to convert. I think we want a nice social living space as well. So kitchen, living room combined would be ideal. Open plan nice, is good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can, can work your magic. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Come on, we'll make a start. <laughs> oh dear, the pressure's always worse when they think you can work miracles. Kieran and Priyanka have saved a good deposit and along with a mortgage have a maximum budget of £650,000. They're after a two-bed flat or a one-bed that has the potential to create a second bedroom. They're keen for an open-plan area where they can cook and entertain at the same time. And let's not forget about Priyanka time. No more than a ten-minute walk to the tube in heels. West Hampstead is their preferred location but they are willing to consider other areas of North West London, so I'll also be searching in Sought After, St John's Wood and Classy Maida Vale. Well, I better make the most of this. I don't think there'll be a lot of time sat around having nice cups of coffee this week. Phil, you're in my neck of the woods. You're on my stomping ground. You better get this right. 
But it's not easy. It's going to be a tough search. They want everything. All the bells and whistles of a classic two-bedroom flat. You know, the short walk to the tube, the bars, the restaurants, good architecture, strong second bedroom, room for a family. You've got 8.50. <laughs> if only. What? 6.50. I have got a ballet dancer and his brother mm -hmm. want to be in achingly cool East London. Mm -hmm. uh, Along with everybody else nowadays. It just shows that places have changed so much in the time that we've been working. Do you think we've changed? No, not particularly, actually. Older, We're just older. older. Grumpier. Grumpier. <laughs> longer in the tooth, slacker in the jaw. <laughs> OK, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> but there's life in this old dog yet. I think Hiran and Priyanka's search needs a new lease of life, so I'm moving it down the road from West Hampstead to leafy St John's Wood. Home to the world-famous Lord's Cricket Ground, Upmarket St John's Wood has the 10th most expensive postcode in the capital. Although a lot cheaper than the top spot holder Kensington, this area is still pricey. But I've tracked down a flat that fits their budget and could suit them once they've put their stylish stamp on it. So we're on the kind of borders of St John's Wood. Yeah. Um, which means we're closer into town in terms of tube. We're three stops closer. It's a 15-minute walk okay, to so the tube, and that would be St John's Wood. Yeah, so it's probably like 20 minutes for me. <laughs> In your heels. Yeah, yes. pre-anchor time is, is different to normal time. I think pre-anchor time may prove to be the Achilles heel of your search, Phil. Yes, but I'm hoping they'll see this flat has very few weaknesses. Taking pride of place on the first floor, this period conversion is set over 577 square feet. The bright lounge leads down into the kitchen. While not quite the open plan living there after, this flat does have two bedrooms, making it family ready. And there's even a balcony for a bit of outdoor space. It's bang on budget at £650,000. But as it's been on the market for quite some time, I'm sure there's a deal to be had. So here on the first floor, you get the lightest, brightest flats, lovely ceiling height, it's share of freehold. Right. And it's on the market at 650 grand. Wow. Okay. Um, I know you like open. Yeah. It's kind of semi-open. I think that's not really the problem. I think this is a bit of a small space yeah. for a living area. Not the best of starts, Phil. If the kitchen was completely open plan to the living room, would that be enough space, do you think? I think so. I mean, it's still not massive, but I think that's something that we could live with. As it is now. Um, you've got the balcony, you've got the share of freehold, uh, you've got the two double bedrooms. Uh, yeah. I want it all. <laughs> ah, those four little words that fill us with dread. Yep, I think most couples in their position would be jumping at it. This is still a two double bedroom flat just off the Abbey Road at the top end of their budget. Two double bedroom flats in this part of town are always popular. It doesn't matter what state of the market, they're always popular. Um, I've got my work cut out. You have indeed. Herein and Priyanka need to realise with their budget, they're unlikely to get it all. Yes, I can but try. This week, I'm with glamorous newlyweds Hiran and Priyanka, who want a fashionable flat in which to start their family. And I'm with brothers Harry and Nicol, who want to buy their first home in achingly cool East London. They may be desperate to escape shared accommodation, but the living area in my first property failed to impress my picky pair. I want it all. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm searching for my wannabe EastEnders, who are struggling with the fast pace of the East London market. It's all about location, 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 really. <laughs> Never a truer word was spoken. So to kick things off, I'm taking the boys to one of London's gentrifying hotspots and their dream location, Walthamstow Village. Located in the heart of north-east London, the conservation area of Walthamstow Village has become a hugely popular place for younger buyers. Of course, the rise in popularity comes at a cost, with sold prices in Walthamstow 57% higher than just three years ago. Is this the kind of street that you've been looking at? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So we are seeing a first floor flat here. OK. So I want you to come in and tell me what you think it's on the market at. OK. OK? 
You and your games, Kirsty. Watch and learn, Spencer. This first floor period conversion has two decent sized double bedrooms, a galley kitchen, and a spacious lounge perfect for socialising and parties. On the market of 415,000, it's well within the boys' budget. So you've got bedroom there, front room. Okay. Bay windows, double glazing. What do you think they want for it? Probably on the market, maybe for 455, 450. Okay. It went on the market at 450. It went under offer at 445. Oh, wow. That fell through. It's now on with another agent at 4.15, so there's an open day on Saturday wow. for 4.15. Now, anything between 4.15 and 4.25... Not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. Do you want to see the rest? Yeah. Right, OK. It may be on at a good price, but the upcoming open day is designed to lead to a bidding war to drive up the cost. So if the boys like it, we'll have to move quickly to take it off the market. Good sized bedroom. Yeah, again. very good. Good window, really light, good mm -hmm. ceiling. It's a nice room. This it's a nice room. Very window. nice room. Really nice. Yeah. I mean, that bathroom, if the person here goes to the loo in the middle of the night, you're going to have to ask them not to flush okay. because uh, that is right next to the bedroom. I do get up and go for a wee a lot in the night, though. Um, I <laughs> don't. <you>. Okay, thank <laughs> you, Harry, Just for that. <laughs> Too much information, Kirsty? Just a tad. It's not a flat you'd feel passionate about, but at 415, it would be incredibly good value. And anyway, do they want to feel passionate about the flat? They've both got their work, they've got their lives. What they're looking for is a secure investment to sleep in at night. Well, maybe, Kirsty. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's fine, isn't it? It's kind of, it's all, it's all a bit fine. Yeah. I don't think. I love this place. Perhaps passion is required after all, and I'd like to think I can manage that. Getting onto the property ladder as a first-time buyer is never easy, especially for those looking to live in London. Compared to local earnings, the top ten least affordable places for first-time buyers to lay down roots are all in the capital, with Brent, Hackney and Haringey ranking worst. House prices in Brent, North London, are around 12 times the average amount local people earn in a year. By contrast, the cheapest places are mostly in Western Scotland, with Eastern Bartonshire near Glasgow topping the chart at 2.6 times local annual earnings. Back in one of the hardest places for first-timers to buy, I'm taking Priyanka and Hiran to the peaceful but pricey boulevards of Maida Vale. Well connected in terms of transport, with buses, tubes and the upcoming Crosswell station arriving at nearby Paddington in 2018, it means there's no problem with Priyanka time here. Now, this is the very prestigious Sutherland Avenue Maida Vale. Um, really well known. I mean, it doesn't get a lot better than this. Um, Warwick Avenue Tube is... Round the corner, it's under 10 minutes walk. From a positional point of view, it could work. Architecturally, a stunning, yeah. stunning yeah. property, and we are once again um, up on the first floor. Oh, nice. Priyanka and Hiran have said that they're open to converting a one-bed property to create the second bedroom, which is exactly what I think could be done in this flat. With stylish interior design, there's a bright lounge and feature fireplace, modern bathroom and a cracking balcony. Currently a one bed, there is scope to create a small room for a baby. At just shy of £675,000, it's 25 grand over their budget, but buyers are in a good position to negotiate in the uncertain post-Brexit climate. Come on in. Uh... It's, it's lovely and clean and fresh. It's kind of contemporary space. Uh, kitchen opens through into the living room. Oh. Uh, OK. Uh, you've got 534 square feet, I think, in it. So it, it is actually smaller than the flat right. we've come from. Yeah. Arguably, it's better arranged. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice room. It's a really nice room. It's quite stylish. 
Yes. Flat. Yeah. Yeah, stylish flats see. should suit a stylish couple. More expensive areas means less space for your money. £1,264 per square foot, to be precise here. But I still think the flat can be family proofed. If baby arrived, yeah. you'd be looking at reconfiguring right. a baby's room. I mean, you could, take, you could put a study that could become a baby's room, yeah. but then you've got an internal kitchen. Mm. Or you could open it, open that bit. So there are other ways of doing it to get your second bedroom. Yeah. But I would say that you wouldn't be improving the value of the flat yeah. simply by. Yeah, this seems like bedroom. it's a really mm. nice one bed for someone. Yeah. Why don't you guys have a, have a look at the one bed? It's got good storage. It's got good bathroom. I think when Priyanka said they wanted it all, she may have meant it, Phil. So this is the bedroom. I was going to say master, but it's only one room. Yeah. It's a nice room. It's a nice room. Great windows. Again, it's Window. too small, isn't it, for a master? This is a beautiful one-bedroom flat, but from what they're saying, I think we're going to have to give up searching in areas that are quite so close to town, because it's just not going to offer them the space that they need to start a family. It's about future-proofing. And if this place isn't big enough, I think their future might lie in switching locations. Any further thoughts? Well, we've had a look around. It didn't take us very long. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we've got the same thoughts, really. Just yeah. too small for us. And for a couple who currently only have one room to call their own, that's saying something, Phil. East and I'm taking the boys to up-and-coming Leighton. Just a few miles from the more fashionable Wolfenstow, prices here can be around 10% cheaper. Close to the Olympic Park regeneration zone, Leighton is fast becoming a popular choice for East End wannabes. I'm taking Harry and Nicol to see a property on a street in which they said they'd love to live. Right, here we are in Leighton. In Not in, in Wolfenstow no. anymore. Very different from the last yeah. flat. Requires quite a lot of imagination. Because at the moment, it's a sort of... I don't know how to put this. It's a sort of clean disaster area. Okay. You're really selling it. Honesty is the best policy, Phil. And while this property may have its flaws, it would be a great investment. Arranged over two floors, this first floor flat has space aplenty, with two bedrooms, a reception room, kitchen diner, plus a private garden. While it's by far the biggest flat I'm showing the boys, the layout is a bit bonkers, to say the least. So I need them to open their minds and envisage what a great home this could be with a little bit of reordering. On the market, at offers in excess of £450,000, it is at the top of their budget. But this could be a top investment for their future. It's on two floors. It's on two floors. The That's loft good. extension was cool. done in 2008. It's huge. But this is where our problems lie, OK? Uh -huh. This is the bit of the flat with an identity crisis. Yeah, yeah. what's happening? Here, it's supposed to be kitchen diner. Mm -hmm but with the bathroom off it, OK? Mm -hmm. So it's like... A little bit confused. WTF. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason we can't knock those two through into, to make a big bedroom at the back is because down there are the stairs that go down to the little garden. So the property's been on two months. Mm -hmm. It's on at 450. They accepted an offer for 438, but that fell through. Now, what you spend on the property is totally down to how you want to live in it. Personally, I'd move the kitchen to where the bathroom is, then open up that area to create a better kitchen diner. All it would take is a bit of creativity. And a sledgehammer or two? But of course. You could keep this as a bedroom, OK? Knock down that wall, do you see there? Yeah, yep. Which would make... One huge living room. So what you would have is a kitchen diner and uh, your bathroom off the kitchen, which is fine, uh, and then you'd have two really good double bedrooms. Mm -hmm. 
Da -da. I like, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I can see the potential, but it's going to be a lot of work. Mm, it may be with all the work, this place just isn't the right fit. You feel squashed in there? A li like a little, I mean, a little traps, maybe, yeah. Well, I have another bright idea for a bit of work that they surely can't object to. I mean, if it was me, I'd turn the bed. OK, just you two lie down next to each other. No, I'm, again, I'm not going to get on the mattress. Oh, my God, honestly! <laughs> Look at, well, you do want to get on the mattress. I will get on the mattress. I've seen much worse than that. God, you're precious, both of you. Look, OK. You look great. How is it? Is it comfortable? Nice and clean? I don't care that it's not clean. I've done a lot worse in pursuit of the right properties. Harry, please sit down. Because when you're standing up in this flat, it just, in oh, this room, makes it, it just... Look like yeah, it, 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 just, house. it just makes it look like a hobbit house. <laughs> oh, God, did I say that at your budget this was going to be easy? Because if I did, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> This week, I'm in north-west London, trying to find a flat for Hiran and Priyanka to set them up for their future family. And I'm in sunny East London, with dancer Nicol and his brother Harry, who are hoping to pirouette their way up the property ladder. Although we seem to be stuck in first position, as neither of my flats had the boys jumping for joy. I can see the potential, but it's going to be a lot of work. Over with me, I'm not having much luck. My married couple are stuck in shared accommodation, but it would seem only perfect will do. Just yeah. too small for us. So for my next property, I'm taking Priyanka and Hiran to their number one location, thriving West Hampstead. Popular with young couples and families, the social hub of West Hampstead offers a superb cafe culture, vibrant nightlife and fantastic transport links. So finally, we actually get to West Hampstead. <laughs> yes, West Hampstead. Um, West End Lane, just round the corner of the Tube. Well, Google Maps says it's about six minutes. Oh, amazing. I think the flat's really nice. It's being sold by a developer. Um, it's quite a lot larger than anything else that I've shown you. It comes at a price. He's got an asking price of £695. Right. Um, I'm told that he would welcome offers. He knows what your budget is, and he says, by all means. Yeah. OK. So, all we can do is kind of see yeah. and hope. And hope. And yeah. hope. <laughs> so they seem pleased with the location, and I'm hoping the flat will impress too. It's set over two floors, and while it doesn't currently offer their desired open-plan living, that could be rectified. And there's the two bedrooms thereafter, one of which comes complete with a fantastic terrace. It is above their £650,000 budget, but it's already had a price reduction, which indicates the owner's keen to sell. This is the living room, which... Well, the whole flat is 819 square feet. Oh, that's big. So, yeah. a lot bigger than where we were yesterday. This isn't a massive living room. No. But the kitchen is through here. If you... If you I mean, that would be very easy to take down if you wanted it open. Yeah. OK. And nice that. flooring. Really yeah, nice it's flooring. it's clean. It's um, um, bright space, good windows. Good windows. Mm -hmm. OK, this is good. Priyanka's finally looking pleased, Phil. Just wait till she gets an eyeful of the upstairs. This is what the developers put on up here. Ah, I see, that's nice. Right, OK. This doesn't have a door on it. True. Um, and I just wonder, some people might decide to have this as their living room. I thought this would probably be work as better. Quite possibly, yes. Yeah. So, for you and your height, that's a bit low. I really like, I really like this side, and I'm just going to pretend that doesn't exist. If, if, you, if you really didn't want it to exist, you build in storage under there. It seems Priyanka may still be searching for perfect fill. It's a question of whether this flat comes close enough. To have this as a master, you have to take this out to put the bed there. Yeah, I, I think that, the, that this should be the lounge. Yeah. It's West Hampstead. It's an easy walk to the tube. It's got a good second bedroom. If they don't go for this, then I am clutching at straws. 
something we'll have to give. You gathered some thoughts? I think the upstairs room, whatever it may be, is going to be the one that we need to really think about. I mean, spend the night thinking about this, yeah. and if you decide to go for this brilliant, you're not going to find a bigger flat mm -hmm. or better flat than this. Yeah. No. Okay. Here. Looks like you might finally have one in the running. Here's hoping, and I've still got one more property card to play. In Leighton, I've had no luck so far. But I think this next flat could change that, and not only because I fill along for moral support. Situated on the first floor of this Victorian conversion, it's got the open plan kitchen living area the boys are after, two decent doubles, and for the brothers who didn't want work, the whole place has recently been refurbished. It's well within the boys' budget, with a guide price of 400 to 425 grand. It's only just come to the market, so the guys are the first to view it, which a certain someone is more than a little pleased about. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? You've done really well. You've done much better than yesterday. Oi, that's harsh. <laughs> it's a much nicer. Nice. I was flat. trying to give you an opportunity to add. To be creative. To be creative, to buy an investment, to yeah. add value. It's not my this fault that you're amazing. a pair of lazy, lazy toe rags. That's <laughs> true. Well, yeah, yeah we, we'll accept we that. needed yesterday to work that out, maybe. <laughs> and work it out you have, Kirstall's. It's got your name so, written all over it. It does, yeah. Perfect space for us. The other flats that kitchen would have a wall and you'd have yes, to go through a yeah, door, so exactly, it doesn't... This yeah. room doesn't feel small, it feels no. big. Ceiling's no. good height. Yeah. yeah. Not going to bang my head? No, on that subject, OK? We've got another Hobbit room upstairs. There is another Hobbit room upstairs. <laughs> but this one has a lovely little surprise. Oh, my days. It's not sweet. Oh, that kind of makes the Hobbitness a bit less. This is amazing, a bit more manageable. And it's got a flat roof, well, it's too. it's huge. It's a massive room. I'm this is lovely. Happy. Can I get jealous? <laughs> No. In my experience, when boys start squabbling over bedrooms, they feel at home. More luck than skill for their own mind. People in glass houses. I haven't had any luck yet. I need a bit. And no skill neither. I may have walked into that one. It's on at the very irritating price of 400 to 425. Really? Wow. Because Leighton's cheaper. It's literally just come on the market last night. We'll buy so. it right now. Ha! And there you have it. Well done, that woman. Clearly you have everything well under control, so I'm going to get back to my search. While the boys check out what will hopefully be Harry's room, I'm on the blower to the vendor who's selling the flat themselves. With future viewing stacking up, I need to move quick to try and secure the flat. I just want you to give me a figure at which you would ensure that no one else sees it. The flat is leasehold, with 82 years left on the lease. That's close-ish to the point mortgage companies will no longer lend, so would need extending as soon as possible. Something the vendor can set in motion. It would cost five to 10 grand to do it, and while it should add value, it's something to consider as I negotiate. Give me a figure that you will accept to take it off the market right now. I can give that figure to my clients and they can decide whether they want to pay that. And if they want to pay that, we can do the deal. While Kirsty's busy playing hardball, I'm back in West Hampstead. Hiran and Priyanka have decided they'd like to take a second look at property number three. But before we do, I have one last potential up my sleeve. Recently refurbished, this pretty two-bed garden flats layout may be slightly higgledy-piggledy, but that could easily be solved. With a newly fitted kitchen, an 18-foot master bedroom with bay window and outside space, this flat has plus points property three lakhs. It is a little further from the tube, though, around a 12-minute walk without heels. But this means it's 20 grand cheaper. Let's head on in there first, master bedroom. Thank you. Master bedroom? Yeah. Oh. OK. Surprising. Big master bedroom. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Right. Narrow. 
but big. So long you, and you, long and yeah. slightly narrow. Yeah. Lots of windows. So, I thought it was quite an impressive. Yeah. It's, it's a nice start. Yeah. yeah. Priyanka sees the charm, but I think Heron's heart lies back at the last flat. This is the bit that I think could be rejigged. So you've got a kitchen diner. Yep. That's the living room, which isn't very large. Uh, that is an extension. Right. Why is it not? So it just cries to be knocked through. Mm. Yeah. It's a good option, but it seems these two have already decided. Compared to the bright, airy space of yesterday's yeah. property, yeah. Um, this doesn't really <laughs> compare. It looks like property three is your only contender, Phil. And that's where we're headed. But even if they go for it, there's still the small, or rather large, matter of price. This week, we've been searching for two sets of first-timers struggling with the tricky London market. In Leighton, we're all on tenterhooks waiting to hear back from the vendor. So I just said to him, go away and find a price. Just find a price. Over in Priyanka and Hiran's dream spot of West Hampstead, we've come back to property number three, the spacious two-bed that may just be the one. So how does it feel coming back in here, then? Good. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Right? Still feels good, as I remembered. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, I think so. Have you had any more thoughts about whether this would be bedroom or living room, or indeed whether you would yeah. knock through to the kitchen? I think that's what we need to establish. I think. The thing is, if we were going to leave that as a bedroom, I still probably would want a door to yes. go up there. Yep. So I'm just wondering if that's feasible. Where we'd actually put the door. And, and um, if we were to put a bedroom here, it's where you'd orient the bed. I do think, though, that maybe this should be a bedroom because then the little one is going to be on the same level and the bathroom on the same level. Although it'd be, in an ideal world, I have that as a bedroom and this is a through lounge kitchen. So we're quite confused, is what we're yeah. trying to say. Message received. But working through these questions are what a second viewing is all about. The best option is to keep the current configuration and live in it like yeah. that. Yeah. And then if we wanted to change it further yeah. down the line, yeah. then we haven't... I think that's sensible. So that basically means that living room up here, bedroom downstairs, isn't it? I think so, maybe. I'm not sure Priyanka's any clearer. So it's not, it's not an easy decision, but it's a decision that they're going to have to make. Otherwise, it's back to the old shared flat. I think that's Even if it comes out a little bit more, then it would be nice to have a fire in the bedroom, wouldn't it? And the TV on top. It's looking good, Phil. Has that been useful? Got Very the measuring useful. tape out? Yes. Yeah. The dimensions seem to work. Yeah. Whether it's kind of a bedroom or a living room, really, it doesn't really matter. We can figure it out. But oh. it's, it's the flat. We really work. like it, yeah. yeah. Great. Like it, so, yes. Excellent. We've got to see what we can get <laughs> yeah. in for it. Absolutely. It, I mean, it'll come down to money, won't it? That's it. It's all That's down to it. money. Yeah. It's always down to money. So, yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, fine. Don't worry. We'll see what, see what we can sort out. But I'm really pleased you like it. <sighs> yes, Pip, we can tell. But I am going to need to work some serious magic to seal a deal, as the flat is on the market 45 grand over their budget. We've got a figure we'd like to pay, and we've got a ceiling as well, which we don't want to go more than. Yeah. 640 would be what we'd like to pay. Yeah. 650 is our ceiling. Okay. Which obviously doesn't give much wriggle room, but. No. He's not going to sell it for 640, not at this point. He's going to want more people to see it. Do you think we so should go in at So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, actually, you know what? Yeah. Just saying so one and only. This is our best shot. Yeah. We realise it's some way off your price, but it's, the, it's all yeah. we're going to pay for it. Good buyers. Yeah. 650 take it or leave it. OK. Having already had a price drop from 750, this could be tricky, Phil. But it could mean the vendor's keen to sell soon. So here's hoping I can work some property wizardry. Uh, Jason, afternoon. It's Phil Spencer here. We have got some difficulties in um, justifying the price um, and, and indeed reaching the top of, of their kind of affordability. But I do have an offer for you. Um, and it is a, this is a kind of one-stop shop. This is a best and final offer. They would pay 650 grand for it. So whilst we, we 
appreciate the 650 could be disappointing. Um, it's very much on the table and ready to go. Good luck. Cheers. Bye. Um, you can't say fairer than that, really. No. Yeah. No, you do great though. Yeah. Back in Leighton, we're anxiously waiting too. The vendor is coming back to us with a figure that would ensure he doesn't show the flat to anyone else. On between 400 and 425,000 pounds, if we can get it taken off the market at 425, that would be a result. Steve. Yep. Yeah. You would, for that figure, take it off the market with an 82 year lease. The extension of the lease would be our problem. I, I'm going to have a five minute chat with my client and I'll come back to you uh, with whether that figure suits them or it doesn't suit them. Okie doke. Okie doke. Okay. I'll call you back in five minutes, Steve. Thanks very much. Okay. Bye. Ooh, team Kirsty. Boom. Yes. <laughs> What's the figure? 45. Done. Easy peasy. Let's do it. That's it? You're happy with that? Yeah, easy, yeah. let's do it. Right, OK, Call let's bring him back. Even with the boys having to fork out for the lease extension, it's a great deal. Steve, it's Kirsty. Um, you've got a deal at 425. <laughs> OK, OK, but you're happy at 425. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Steve. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Yes. It's not usually that easy, boys. That was brilliant. Well, yeah. That was so cool. <laughs> you nailed the um, negotiation. You nailed it. Well, I didn't. I, I don't want 30 people viewing this battle Saturday. No. We were lucky. You are going to push this forward, aren't you? Yeah, super Because the next time I sit here, I want it to be with a beer, OK? Definitely. I want to see Champagne. you. Champagne. Champagne. Champagne all the way. Champagne all the way. I want to see you with your L-shaped sofa and table and chairs and, you know, Harry yeah. cooking up a store. You all store. need to come to the housewarming party. You know, you can put party. a bar on there and a mirror. Yeah. Definitely. Lots, lots can be done. Can't lots wait. can be done. Super exciting. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, that's one set of very happy house hunters. Let's see if we can make it two. Hi, Jason. Hi, hi, yeah, good. Sort of nervous moments in the camp here. How are you getting on? Hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, terrific, thank you. He's only gone and accepted it. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He's accepted it. No, I really did not think that was going to happen at no. all. At all. Oh, we can move in. We can decorate. I was quite confident. Were you? No, no were you? nonsense. Come on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> raise glass. Many Gen congratulations. No more shared housing. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Marital home thank of your own. Absolutely. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. That's what you call property magic. And just like that, he's gone. Two months on and brothers Harry and Nickel are just ironing out the final creases before exchanging contracts on their Leighton pad. Hopefully within three weeks we might have keys. We better be before three weeks. <laughs> While they both patiently wait for the purchase to complete, each has his own priorities in mind. We're going to have nice white china and good cutlery. I'm most worried about arguing about who gets to play the music when we're in there more than, like, what yeah. cutlery to buy. Moving in together as adults means getting the measure of one another all over again. Harry has a weird issue of not closing drawers. This is what's going to cause troubles. I don't understand how you open it and not close it. Well, you anyway. don't need to close it. It's just tidy to close it, isn't it? Yeah. But if that's my worst habit, it's probably OK. Yeah. I mean, our schedules are so different anyway, and hopefully the time we do spend together in the flat will be fun time. Fun time. Fun time. <laughs> Call me when the champagne's on ice, boys. In West Hampstead, Priyanka and Hiran are already raising their glasses, having just stepped over the threshold of their new home a week ago. 
and they're really starting from scratch. Given that we were renting before, we have absolutely nothing. We just want to slowly but surely buy the furniture that we want and make it home. Absolutely, we, yeah. Uh, enjoy yeah. coming back to it. I'm looking forward to making house. Yeah. They're definitely making the upstairs the living area. And previously loft averse Priyanka is a convert. It's my favourite room of the house, so yeah, totally opened my mind. Although it's a loft conversion, it still feels like a proper room. Funnily enough, they're not missing flatmates at all. We don't have to worry about other people, really. I think that's probably the best yeah. thing. It's such a relief to know that we have our own property. Um, really settling in now, loving the area, love the flat, couldn't be happier. Yeah, and we've got Phil to thank for that, yeah. so thank you, Phil. <laughs> thank you. He has his uses, that Pip.